Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to Test MD TV. Today is a very special broadcast because, as you notice, our setting is different. And the reason why is because I'm actually uploading a video. I have two other monitors on the side of me. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I'm actually uploading a video on one of the other monitors. Listen, one of the main things that I have to tell you is if there's something that you want to do, just get out there and start doing it. Because let me tell you, every single day, every day now, it used to be every week, I'm running across something that's like, oh my God, I can't believe that. And so there is no preparation <laughs> except make mistakes, pivot, and then get back on track. The video that I'm going to be uploading, I mainly intended for that video to play instead of me being here because I got to go get my second injection. But I was determined if there was a lot of editing. The video that is going to be uploaded is explaining how to withdraw your money from Coinbase into your bank account because watch the video. It, it was it was crazy. It was it was just crazy. So and with that being said, I was like, OK, that's going to be a great video. They'll be able to watch that video. I can go. I can get my injection. And if I'm sick, happily ever after. The video just got finished uploading. And I will tell you, it really means a lot to me to make it here at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Monday. So I guess I just got to go after we get finished. Thank you so much for joining me on TSMD TV. Now, this is going to be just like I'm reaching all over everything because I'm not really, hey, 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 there he is. There he is. Um, uh, how are you? And how's your, you know what? My mom's doing great. I, I, thank you so much for asking. Thank you so much, Edwin. Hey, thanks for joining. Hey, uh, what advice do you have for someone like me that smacks all the time? You know what, Jacob? That's a good, that, that, that's a good question. Because you know what? Sometimes on my videos, listen close. I try to edit out. <laughs> and it's, it's now, but one of the things I didn't notice is that sometimes smacking is secondary to two things. Number one, if you're tired. Okay. And then also I noticed like with me, it, it, it just all depends on like um, what's going on with my mouth. And I think that like I was smacking before cause I had like that tooth infection. So Maybe, you know, check with your dental, your dental hygienist. Make sure you're getting your regular checkups with your dentist. But if you just got a habit where you just like smacking when you eat potato chips, stop it. That's annoying. You're aware of it. Okay. Some of us really never learn to chew properly. If we chewed and ate food in the proper way, we wouldn't smack. The reason why is because you got to chew it like 18,000 times. You ain't got time to smack it. Okay, we smacking because we because we eat like the cookie monster. Rule number one: stop eating like the cookie monster. Okay, that'll probably help with some of your smacking. <laughs> All right, so that that's like, but but what I'm gonna do with you guys is I am actually going to hey 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 Edwin hey so uh, what are the requirements to have a balloon placed in my stomach, Jacob? So you're looking for weight loss now. There's thoughts on that technique that aren't too um, favorable, if you will. Uh, now, I'm not going to uh, have any kind of judgment or opinion against any physician, any procedure or anything like that. However, we just started a live a lifestyle challenge over in No Stress Way Less where nobody showed up. We could have talked about it over there. Before I will consider any form of intervention, I, I hope you guys can hear me okay because I'm like, um, like this this desk is like this. Okay, there. I'm probably a little bit better now. All right. So if you're considering any form of weight loss, the first thing that you have to do is try as hard as you can by yourself before you go to get assistance from a doctor. So lipo, any kind of weight loss. And then even once you get with the doctor's office, they're going to send you through months and months and months and months and months of counseling to make sure that you don't have body dysmorphic disorder. Um, you're not doing it for any other reason except for health benefits and so on. During that time, you should try to lose as much weight as you can because there is no such thing as anything with no risk or complications. So after you have definitively made the decision that you need assistance, there's absolutely nothing else that you could do on your own. 
then your doctor will start to talk to you about the least invasive to the most invasive options. There's the sleeve. There's the, um, uh, I forget what the little thing is, uh, that, um, that, that like go, goes around the, um, the I, I just can't think of what the name of it is right now, but, and then there's the rule and why. So those are three options that we commonly use here in the United States. Now, the balloon is something, and there was also something where you like um, eat something and it kind of like inflames while it's in your stomach and it makes less room to the point that you're not able to take in a lot of food. But that had some very, very, very controversial outcomes. So I, you know, I want to make sure that you've done all the things that you could possibly do to try to lose weight on your own before you start to consider any kind of weight loss options. The next thing is, why is it that you want to go for this intervention? Is it a health related reason? One of the main reasons that your insurance will approve it is because, and I think that it actually makes sense. If you look at a person who has like obstructive sleep apnea and they're on a CPAP machine or someone who constantly gets like a, um, a fungal infection in their pants because there's that's a moist area where your stomach is like flopping over and fungus loves moisture. So if they look at how much that could cost the healthcare system for your medications uh, with diabetes, because post rule and why, ta-da, miraculously, the, your hemoglobin A1C is like back to within normal range. So they look at it like, you're this young age, and if we just pay this one time for this surgeon to do this intervention that we know will help, and it will resolve a lot of your pre-existing medical conditions, we'd rather just pay for that and had this guy coming in and out in and out in on medication, maybe non-compliant, may miss some pills, may be worse off. So that's the reason why your doctor and your insurance company is on board. But you as the patient, number one, we have to look at why did we gain the weight? And I highly recommend Overeaters Anonymous. We were just talking about that yesterday because if you do not attack the problem, you could get as skinny as you want. You could turn to olive oil, right? But if you still have not resolved the habits where you ended up overweight in the first place, guess what, right? So why did you end up overweight? And then when you do start eating healthy again, do you know the healthy way to eat? Protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Where, what goes where? If your body doesn't recognize it, what? It's commonly written, uh, whatever you eat should have had a face on it. I mean, that's, that's kind of morbid, but I'm just saying that's what it is. So if, if you have not learned why you gained the weight, and if you have not learned how to eat, we need to slow down, Daisy, before we start to go for any, any intervention and look at how we ended up in this spot in the first place. So if you want more uh, details or more information than that, I'd be more than happy to share with you. I hope that helps. So uh, what I wanted to do was, let me ask you some more of your questions first. That's what I want to do. Um, let's see. Uh, no, no, you know, because I'm actually editing videos. I, I was going to up upload a video and you guys are going to like it. So no, I'm not. And and I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here because this, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Hartley. I hope you're doing fine. I hope everything's going okay. I'm once again, sorry to hear about your, you know, your loss in your family. And please let me know if there's anything that I could ever do for you. Edwin, uh, are you talking about don't drop the mic today? No, we're not talking about don't drop the mic today. We are talking about, I put the title up. I'm going to show you guys how to build a website in an hour. All right. That's what we're talking and the reason why we're talking about that is because, excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. Um, in a video that I posted last week where I was saying, don't spend your money with a guru before watching this video, some people watch the video and they're like, okay, yeah, I'm so looking forward to you doing a video showing how to do all those things without spending money with the guru. I didn't plan on doing that. <laughs> But I looked at that to be a good idea. So yesterday, I rebuilt one of my websites. And it still has the um, uh, Lorem Ipsum um, information. So it doesn't have any of my information. So I said, hey, let me show these guys one of the things that you could do. Now, I I'm not saying that. Just give me one second. Like I said, I'm not saying don't hire a guru. For example, when you guys listen to the video, it's going to be uploaded after this one. This is buzzing noise in the background. I don't know why. 
and the picture is blurry as heck. Now, I left it like that because it's Coinbase. So it's a lot of my personal information and another admission, I don't know how to blur it out. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. The whole video is blurry. No one will be able to read that. So, but when I do go to a guru, I'll be able to say, hey, how do you make the humming sound? I, I'll go with specific questions, but just learn as much as you can on your own before you spend your money. So are, are you guys interested? Do you want to see, do you want to see how to build a website in one hour? I mean, it's totally up to you. I, I just thought that that'd be something good to share and I could do it while I have a live audience. So that way, if you guys have any questions, you could ask your questions, um, you know, while we're on the app. So, well, if no one disagrees, let me just go ahead and get into it. So I, okay. One second, guys. One second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm going to share my uh, entire screen. And I, right. so, um, wait, you know what? There was a way that I, uh, there was a way that I did this. I may have to pull back because I'm, I'm like moving in a, well, I'm not moving in a hurry, but I mean, I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to get this. Um, I wanted to make sure I saw you guys. So I don't know. Let me see. Okay. Um, are you guys, uh, let me see. Okay. Um, let me see. How do I, um, let me see. I hope that this is, um, uh, how can I ask you guys, are you seeing my screen? Well, let me just do it like this. I'm just going to go ahead and log in and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to try to check with you guys. Don't worry. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. First of all, we're not going to not do this because um, I'll just make mistakes in front of you guys. I'm fine with that. Um, but I want, I just want, I just want you guys to learn and just, um, just see that, you know, it's, it's comfortable to be uncomfortable. Don't worry about it. And um, you know, that's that. So hold on one second. All right, let me see. Okay. Uh, hold on. One, this is, um, are you guys like seeing like a thousand bajillion uh, screens or are you seeing, um, uh, are you seeing one screen? Um, I don't know. Um, let me see. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Wait, do I do this? No, I think, um, uh, let's see. Are you, are you guys seeing one screen or are you seeing, like this whole uh, mess. You're seeing hundreds, right, is what I thought. Okay, wait a minute. There's a way, um, hold on one minute. Let me figure this out. Wait, let's see. It says share. Okay. Uh, okay, so stop. Okay, wait a minute, hold on one second. I know how to do this. I did it. Um, huh? <laughs> Hey, listen, look, guys, I'm going to do this. I'll, I'll just show you guys. Let me see. How did I do that before? Oh, wait a minute. I think I did. Um, I think I, okay. I, I think I know what I did. Um, I think I separated the screen. Um, so then that screen was like separate. Okay. Hold on one second. One, look, if I don't get it like right now, then I'm going to stop because I, I'll, I'm, I'm one of those people who I'll just like start, I'm going to figure it out, but it's really important. It's, it's really important. I really want to show this to you guys. So let me, let me see if I can figure this out. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Oh, wait, I think I know. Wait, so, oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Did I lose you? No, I, thought I, lost, I thought I lost you guys. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Wait, let me think. How did I do that before? Um, Wait, okay, so solo layout, okay, that was it. It was a solo layout, then it was the share, then it was, um, if I don't, if, okay, if, if I don't, wait, 
if I don't figure this out, um, no, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am going to figure it out. Okay, I got it, I got it. I remember, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let me see. Is it here? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Almost, almost. Okay, and it was, uh, no, yes, that's what it was. Okay, you know what? Check this out, guys. We are there. I figured it out. I figured it out. Check it out. Here we go. I'm going to show you. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So I'm back. And then I go to. Okay. Now are there like 18,000 screens or is it just one screen? Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. Let's see. Um. Uh, hold on a second. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, bam. Now, I knew I knew how to do this, kind of, sort of. But anyway, we got we got there, okay? Now, one of the main things I want to show you guys that's really important is, oh, wait, wait, okay. Oh, wait, I know, I know. And then I had to reduce the size of this screen, too. Yeah, that's what I had to do. So this screen go, yep, there I go. I'll tell you, man, look, they make this look a lot easier. Uh, that's why I said don't listen to gurus because they're smart. And we're going to be smart too, but it's just going to take us a little bit longer because we got to work and, you know, we got other stuff going on. Not saying they don't have anything going on, but I'm just saying. All right, so let me make this a little bigger. All right, so um, I'll bring this down. All right, so you guys, you guys, you're good, right? Okay. So now, um, let me see. So I'm going to go into my, uh, so, and, and I have, of course, I'll have all, all these links available in the, you know, in the, um, in the description box, but let's get into it. So um, I'm going to log into my uh, Bluehost account. Um, hold on a second. I never logged in with it. Oh, there it is. Log in. Okay. All right. So, like I said, um, I, everything that I'm going to say out of my mouth, I'll have a link available for it in the description box. But Bluehost, I've been with Bluehost from the beginning. There's a whole lot of... so. The things that you need to build a website, you need a domain name and you need a hosting service. The hosting service is a place that like holds your information for your website. And your domain name is who are you? Your, what, what is it that you're known by on the internet? Now, what I want you guys to see is one of the reasons why I feel like you should do this for yourself is because it gives you a lot of control, especially when you're like an entrepreneur and you're going to business, you kind of like definitively don't know, you know, you, you come up with things along the way. And, and, and when you're sitting in front of someone who you're being, you're paying them by the hour, um, you know, you're, you're not going to have as much time to be as creative as you would if you were just like sitting in your, like when I, when I get off into it, I get on my onesie, I put on my glasses, I got, I got some snacks and I could chill and I could really get creative. So that's the main reason why I feel like you should explore on your own before you start going into your wallet. Now, the rate that I got Bluehost is like, it was like $2.95 or $3.95. It's, it's so cheap. You, you could do all, you, everything I'm going to show you right now, you could do it all starting with like less than a hundred bucks. Okay. So I got like what? Celebrity MD. Um, fight acne today. All, all of my, all the different things you guys hear me saying, I'm, I'm working on things in the background, but I'm just more so out there kind of like filling the water just to see, you know, what we'll launch first. No stress, way less. Um, uh, telehealth daily news. That's going to be our like extra, like our blog, Test MD. Um, I think I own like about 40 domains because I've been playing this space for a minute, the white copreneur. All right. So we're going to go into virtual concierge MD. Now, um, when you uh, click into your um, your website, then you want to log into 
WordPress. And once you, now, the way that you build a website, after you get your hosting, your domain, then you want to start building the site. Now, I use, I built my site on WordPress. Okay, there's two different WordPresses, WordPress.com and there's WordPress.org. Okay, we're on WordPress.com. Now, I'm basically going to, the theme, now, what made it easy for me is, and it, is I purchased a theme where I have lifetime purchase. So that means I could build as many websites as I want forever. It's our drop dead. Okay. And I never got to pay another dime. All right. That's lifetime. That's the equivalent to lifetime. So that was comfortable for me. And also just because you don't hire a guru, that don't mean you're not getting any help because guys, what you got to understand is I will tell you, I call Bluehost so much. And then I said, I had a girl to stay on the phone with me for four hours at Bluehost. When I had a problem one time with my domain, I had someone at Google to stay on the phone with me. Guys, these customer service people are bored out of their mind because everybody's hiring a guru, so no one asks them questions. They are available. The theme that I chose is through Elegant Themes and it's called Divi. They have something called Divi Nation and, and it's bazillions of people that are just willing to help you um, at any moment's notice. So. When I have a question or a concern, I go to the team. Now, let me just show you now. And like I said, this is um, still just a, a skeleton. Um, so like I said, there's no personal information, but I'm just gonna show you what I have with regards to the skeleton. So uh, virtual concierge MD, you guys already know. And I went through all the legalities to get that name set up for free. I'll tell you guys how I did that. But now what you see here is something that's called a layout. Um, Divi gives you layout. So I'm going to show you that and you just fill it in. Now, also, this is a, um, a customized header and footer. And guess where I got that from? The Divi Nation. They sell this. But before I go to look for uh, go before I go to look to spend money, I'm like, what can I get for free? OK, so um, most of my um websites, I just decided to use the layout pack because it was easier for me because I really kind of like don't know what I'm doing because outside of building a website, there's so many things you have to do. You have to make sure the pictures are small enough. You have to make sure it's responsive. Um, you know, uh, there's specific information on each layout pack for a specific region. Now, when I first started using these layout packs, I used to switch around and be like, this is ugly, but you got to keep in mind, these people who built these layout packs know how to optimize a website. They know what the Google monsters want. So I used to switch them around a lot until I realized, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. They do. So I just decided to just leave the pack the way that they did it and put my information in, which that is mainly what is intended. So you see, and, and then also it's optimized. You, you log on, you're on the phone. Everyone, every um, person should be able to access something with one hand and a thumb. So if you were in your car, you see this, bam, push it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got a website, but I need to see a doctor. Bam, you can call me right there. Or you could contact me on social. They already thought it out. I ain't got to do no thinking. All right. So these are the different pages. And I got the names of the pages from other people who are pages. I didn't think it is. Start here. I saw that on a whole lot of medical websites. So I'll say, okay, fine. I'll start there. About what we offer, schedule an appointment. That is actually a plugin. It took me three days to really learn how to put that plugin in. And but I was very proud of myself because I did it for me. So on this website, a person while I'm sleeping, a person can come to my website. They can look at the services I have available. They can look at the price package. They could pay and they get an email saying thank you. And I haven't even turned over for the first time. But I did this, okay? And I built it from scratch. And if I did it, I'm, I'm a doctor fighting COVID. You guys could do it too. So I'm just telling now, but I still will talk to a guru because I want to make sure that the security is right. I want to make sure it's optimized. I want to make sure it's speed. But by the time I get to the Google, I've already done a lot of work. They may come in and say, doc, you need to do something totally different, but at least I tried. All right. So these are the different services that are available. So this is the um, homepage. And like I said, 
lorem ipsum, that's the fake, um, the fake type of space filling information. See, see where it says sign up today? I wouldn't have thought to put that there, but I guess whoever made the layout plan, they already know that's what people are thinking when they're looking for a doctor. Some cartoon chick and another guy and simplify doctor simplifying doctor's visits. So I'll, now this, now this is the thing. See how this is just like step by step by step by step. I read that um, this, when someone comes to your website, they don't really want to see all the frills. They're like, oh, what do I got to do to see a doctor? Well, first you got to schedule and pay. And then after you do that, you complete your paperwork. And then after you do that, you get a text message reminder and then we're hundred percent virtual done. Yeah. I mean, I just got to change this part, but yeah, I agree. That's what I said. No waiting room, you know? So these are giving, why should someone come to you? Right? So these are giving like the selling points and then, you know, picture it. And I just threw my picture in there. Y'all seen that picture 18,000 times, bada boom, bada bang. Right now I changed this picture because they had some weird looking picture. So I changed that, but that's a stock image. And I could show you guys someplace where you get free pictures from and boom, that's it. All right. Now, when I changed that picture, it was a global change. The change was made on every single page. So I go to the next page and it's about, okay. And then you just put out, oh, there, oh, that's another thing I meant to tell you guys. I got this software. It's called Jarvis. It's AI. So like when it's time for me to write, I, I, I'll go over to Jarvis after I get finished with the website. I'm just going to show you guys that. But when it's time for me to write my about, I can simply say something like, um, well, you know, I'm a African-American, uh, a female physician born and raised in Chicago, put a little something about me and then put it in Jarvis and push enter. Jarvis will do 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 write. Okay. Now then I got to read it, but it is B A. I mean, it is amazing. If you want a description for a product you're selling. Um, if you want to fill in your page on Patreon, you um, just, if you want to write a blog article, Jarvis, and, and, and it's incredible. So that's the reason why I'm not really worried about when I got to fill in the content because I just wanted to get the shell built out. And then once I got the shell built out, me and Jarvis going to put the content in. Then you got a few more scrolly, scrolly pictures and then sign up today. All right. Bam, that's me. I got to change that. But I'm just saying, I just put that there as a space fill in this guy down here. Okay. So that is the about page. Every single site has to have an about. And your about should be explaining what makes you different in a concierge, um, a cyberspace where I would pick you over 18 billion telehealth practices that were established during the pandemic. And that's going to be my, my job. So what we offer is the next page. Okay. So, um, once again, is from the layout. So then you just put in your services, what you offer annual now, and you guys will see my services on the other page. Now, at first I had taken this page out because I use, um, Amila, um, the uh, appointment software. So at first I wasn't going to have this in there, but then I thought about it. Wait a minute. Before they go to book the service, they want to know, do we even have the service that they're looking for? So I decided to put this back in. So, you know, and that will be filled in with all of my services. All right. And then this is the page that now this took me probably about maybe six hours. And then I'll show you um, the other thing, the membership site. There's a membership site on here also. Look, schedule an appointment. I right, check this out. So when people, now this is a, a plugin. Now I customized this page, but I watched a tutorial from someone from Divi. This is not how it looks out the box, all right? But my friend from Divi Nation, I watched, uh, I was mainly watching to learn how to set up the membership page. And then I thought about it, wait a minute, I could use that same technique for another page. So I didn't watch to see how to do the interface for um, Amelia. I watched for the interface for member press, but I used that same information I learned for my Amelia plugin. So this is not how it looks coming out the crate. So scheduling services offer. Now I basically 
just put in the services as a space holder. And since you guys are my family, you know, you may as well know all the different services that we offer. And, and it's going to be, it's like more, but I guess sleepy, but you know, so for like weight management, I really like this. So then you could have where the, her, your patient could click on uh, medication assisted weight loss management, and then it get a full description. Um, if you click on it, it, you know, get, it tells you the service, how long your appointment is. And then there's a description box. Um, if you, you know, if you decided that that's what you wanted, let me see, how can I get out of this? I clicked on that. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Um, I don't think I clicked on it before, so I may have been a busy body. Um, let me see. Hold on a second. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to let, I'm just going to let the page just like, um, recycle. I'm not going to click on anything again because I don't know how to go backwards, but you get my point. So I really like this because keep in mind, I'm having visions of sugar plums dancing in my head and people are on this site and they're going through all the different services. They get the description and I, I am going to click on it one more time, but some of the services that we're going to offer, you know, medication assisted weight loss, uh, hormone health, uh, mental health, stress, anxiety, all the different kinds of skin health. Um, men's health, erectile dysfunction, hair loss, um, low libido, uh, hormone replacement therapy, addiction, uh, tobacco cessation. That's mainly because of you guys, my TikTok family, because I got a lot of people uh, and I want to try to help you guys stop vaping. So, you know, uh, like I said, if I went to a guru, I wouldn't have thought of that. But that's something that from my heart, I noticed was needed from the community that follows me. So I'm going to have it as a service available for you guys. Women's health. Women's low libido, women with hair loss, um, just uh, menopausal uh, symptoms, STD, and we're going to have um, transgender um, um, hormone replacement therapy and HIV assistance. These are all things that I have super duper duper training in, and I'm going to offer it on my site. So then also I put this in, this is a video. Okay. So on here, it'd be like, Hey, so you're going to make an appointment, huh? Right. So, and this does not come on Amelia, but I put this in a testimonial and then the little countdown clock and then the guy at the bottom and final, um, the contact us page. Now, one thing I want to show you, like the blog page, this was something that I once again got from the Divi community. This, the, the blog page does not come like this. Now check this out. Ain't that cool? You get, so all, all the different um, headers will show the different articles. I thought this was so adorable, unlike any other blog page that I've seen. And then, you know, the guy at the bottom. Now, after all of this, and then I also was able to connect WooCommerce to this because for the Amelia plugin software, um, the payment system that it takes is authorized.net. And I had to make sure that it took something that was compatible with my electronic health record because all these things are going to be interchanged. And I'm going to do it, not a guru. Now, check this out. Now, and I just have to figure out how to link this together. I you now I got to watch a couple more videos. But if we go to the dashboard, so you say you want to be a member, okay? not a problem sign up for the membership and so i have member press and the memberships are um yeah okay i'm just thinking this through guys right so then we go to memberships and everything that i'm doing right away is going to be free it's going to be free because i don't think that it's fair to charge anyone when i'm still learning too so the first membership we're going to have is going to be free but look at this. And this also is not the way that it comes. See, you see the format to be kind of similar to the way it was over on the book and appointment page. So I learned from one of my friends in Divi Nation how to do this. And when I uploaded the Amelia plugin, I thought back in my memory and I used the same technique. So for free membership, then you know what is it about the membership? Da 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 da. 
And then once again, another video, you know, and then you push the video and I, I picked that picture out and I, you know, set the picture up and everything like that. And then this one's just saying, I got 599 members. <laughs> so of course that's, you know, we'll, we'll have to be a little bit more honest about that number. And then after you read all this and then you sign up for the membership. So this is an example. I did this in one day. Now, how long will it take for me to um, make this page live? A couple things. I need to fill in all the uh, lorem ipsum type. I need to make sure the site is optimized, responsive. All the pictures are the right size. Make sure that the security is set up and uh, fill in the descriptions for the appointments. So this can be live by or before Labor Day. And it costed me nothing. Now, another thing is I also invested in um, Elementor Pro and uh, Crocker Block um, because, oh, now this section, that's what I'm going to tell you guys, this is dynamic. So see, the longer that we wait to get into the space, the later we are. Because now, you know, you got the static websites and you got the dynamic. So once I put the text in, I could change the text on the back end and on the front end, it remains the same. So let me show you, like for example, you see where it says free membership, right? Um, you know, at the heading, but that's not what it says on um, the back end. So if you go to um, the, uh, let's see, my Divi theme. All right. So if you go to Divi and then if you go to uh, theme builder, For a dynamic website, you mainly put all the information on your theme builder. So this is where you make all of your changes. And so the layout for the membership is here, all membership. So if I wanted to make a change to the membership page that you guys just saw, I push edit. So if you notice, this says something totally different. It don't say free membership, right? It says something totally different because, um, well, it'll catch up with. <laughs> All right. So it says, um, it says your dynamic post title will be here. So if I, so basically with dynamic, you just can make changes on the back end. And so it, it's, it's less work. It, it, you don't have to keep like um, re putting the information in over and over and over as you do with a static website. And, and I could go, I could go into like a slower detail. And, and what I like about Divi, um, I, let me see. So like, let's say that I want to change something. Okay. So you have sections, rows, and columns. All right. So if I want to change this text, all I got to do is just like, do, 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 you know, I click on um, change the content. And I could change this from um, now. Uh, I could I could just so you just I don't want to make any changes right here. And I I'll do that in another video. The purpose of this video is mainly just to show all the things that you could do if you're not a techie, if you're not of the tech generation. Ain't none of your kids to the point they can help you. This is you, um, dad, architect, engineer, um, pandemic kind of messed up your job and you need to start over, but you don't feel like it, feel like it. Because you can start over and from your life experiences, be more of an asset to society and to yourself. And as a doctor who now knows how to be a techie and humble enough to ask for help when I do something wrong and being in a personal trainer space, yeah, I am a force to be reckoned with. Whereas if I had just stayed in the medical realm, I would have just always just been just a doctor. Not saying just a doctor, but you do understand what I'm saying. You know, we're at war right now, right? You know, we didn't sign up for war. You know, we pretty much, you know, uh, just thought that we were just going to walk around with a white coat and stethoscope. We're all, and a lot of doctors are leaving. And I'm telling them, don't leave just figure out something different that you could do where you could feel safe. So you guys know how I do, you know, I go to the hospital 
and then I come into the internet space. So I just basically want to show you guys this. Now, uh, let me just show you really quick uh, Jarvis. Uh, oh, so I'm going to close out of this the right way. Uh, da, da, da. So what is, okay, go to Bluehost. Okay. So like I said, if you guys have any questions on this, you know, just please let me know. And um, I'll, I'll be more than happy to help you get set up. I'll leave uh, links for all of this in the description box. But check this out. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys was my friend Jarvis. Okay. The coldest guy in the house. All right, let's see. Where did I put him under? I, you know, you, you ever like make um, uh, tabs and then forget what you made them for? <laughs> okay, so like I said, you know, I got crock a block and yeah, this, this, these are all the different things I do when I'm not at the hospital. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, so here, this is Jarvis. So. Now, I mean, this is not going to like a, be a full out, um, you know, um, tutorial on any of this. But I'm just basically showing you guys the different resources that are available um, for weekend business people. Right. They call them weekend warriors, but weekend business people. So, um, you know, let me log into my. Oh, I'm already in my account. OK, so this is Jarvis. OK. And so. Let's say that I, and I, you know, you got, y'all know me. I always buy the, the highest end of the top. Yeah, that's what I do. And I say, I go and I buy the whole candy store. I don't even buy a candy bar. So let's say that you wanted to write something and you have writer's block. Now with the software that I have, I have access to long form assistant um, AI. So long form assistant is only available on the pro software. But if you just want a framework to work, or if you want to send an email, you got to write a writer's block, oh, God, I got to send an email, but I don't know what to say. Ask Jarvis. You want to build a website, write a blog, you need to write an ad, you need to write some stuff for the descriptions for your e commerce, you want to do a social media post and you're not creative. People, I just don't know how to write. People are writing books with Jarvis, okay? You want to write something for the news, Google, video, and Jarvis will even make sure that what he helped you write is optimized very egotistical person <laughs> all right so let me give you an example um so check this out we'll do uh content improver because i know that's a very easy one um so let's say that this is easy you know for me to give you an example so um i was uh let me see um let me see yeah i was walking to oh then also on the advanced software you can speak it to it so um i was walking to the store and i ran into an old friend you really don't have to say much just say a few words because you just gotta like kickstart jarvis and then you know he'll go from there and also you want to have some of your own creativity and then you know so what tone do you want to be like enthusiastic U S I A S T. Got to know how to spell enthusiastic in order for you to tell Jar enthusiastic. Or you can even put that you want to sound like an actor. Okay. So I want to sound like, um, uh, I want to sound like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Oprah. O P R A H W H. I don't know how you spell the name. Uh, so that's close enough. Okay. Oprah. I want to smell like, uh, and I saw a friend. Um, she was, check this out, guys. Someone, from my past who I really didn't like, but I didn't want her to get that perception when we conversed. I, <laughs> I, so now that's, now you can put in like as many different versions of creativity as you want Jarvis to have. So, you know, so we say Jarvis, go for it and shoot your best shot and generate some content. And yeah, you let's give us uh, three different versions of what you think that you can say, okay? So he generated some information and this is still me guys trying to figure out how to get this screen. Uh, see where, okay, here it is. So it's at the bottom. So this is what Jarvis had to say based on what I said. So he gives you me these three choices. When I was walking to the store, someone approached me who looked familiar. I tur it turned out it was a person from the past whom I didn't like very much and hope uh, and had hoped she wouldn't think that's what our conversation would be about. 
uh, uh, that's number one. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then the old friend I ran into was someone from my past that I didn't like very much. After catching up, it became clear to me <laughs> how different we'd both become and the connection between us had faded over time. Well, that's okay. And I was walking to the store when I ran into an old friend. When we talked, she wasn't as bad a person as I thought her to be. So what I would do is, so so this is what Jarvis came up with. I keep reminding the guy's a robot, okay? So, and then also the more you write, the more he gets to know your personality. So what I would do is I would more so um, say, and then if you think that something is like totally horrible, um, you know, you could just put it in trash or the, the guys behind this software are so awesome. If you flag it, they'll look at it. And because see, sometimes Jarvis gets weird. Uh, his um, information base only goes back to 2019. So Jarvis didn't know about COVID because when his information was uh, put in his computer brain, COVID didn't exist. But guess what? He know about COVID now because he has gotten so much information put in regarding COVID. Now you still got to fact check. All right. And then you still need to run this through a software to check for plagiarism. So, and, and like I said, I can show all that to you guys in another video, but what's my point with this? My point with this is to continue showing you with that software I just showed you with regards to building your own website and with the Divi Nation and all the different resources and with Jarvis and Jarvis does have a free trial and I do have a link for Jarvis. And you want to talk about a helpful nation, but let me just show you really quick. Um, so let's say I say um, uh, the old friend I ran into was someone from my past that I didn't uh, that I didn't like very much. And then I say, um, okay. So what I think that I will want to do is I like the part I like this one. So if you like something, you know, you just kind of like you know. Um, just isolated by itself. And, but I like the part about, hold on one second, let me go back. Um, when we talked, she wasn't as, uh, as bad a person as I thought her to be. So um, I like the old friend I ran into was someone from my past I didn't like very well. Um, um, however, here, check this out. However, after catching up, it became clear to me that she wasn't as bad of a person as I'd thought so many years ago. Um, so then, um, let me see how different we both had become. Um, okay, so how different we'd both become. And then, and let me see how different we'd both become um, based upon this new energy that I feel towards her. I regret a lot of lost time. And then like, let's say that I once again, wanted Jarvis to go for a spin around the block with this one. So then I can just cut this and uh, copy, close. And then I go back up here and get rid of that. And put that in. And now I want to sound a little what little melancholy, all right? I don't know why I keep on picking all these personalities. I don't know how to spell. Okay, so I want to sound a little melancholy, okay? So then um, I just go for a whirl with Jarvis again, and let's see how he phrases it. So let's see what he had to say this time. Oh, and I, I could have um, gotten rid of, after catching up, okay, I could have gotten rid of that one because I wasn't going to use that one. I ran into an old friend um, that I didn't like after catching up. She wasn't as bad a person as I thought. 
so many years ago, we both really have changed over time. Thus, this makes us feel even more regret for the lost opportunities and times where we weren't on good terms. That's, I love it, right? So then, you know, I could use that. So like I said, you know, if you look at the resources that are available, and this is just like, you guys already saw how long that tab was. I have spent time going around the internet, YouTube mainly, and just acquiring some of the most amazing things for people who this is not your space, this is not what you do, but you do want to be in a creative realm. And you really don't want a guru who's just like sitting and breathing over you because I change my mind a lot. A lot of those services, I hadn't even thought, maybe I should look at the camera. I didn't even thought about offering some of those services until I was looking at other sites and I was putting it together on my own. So that, that's it. I just wanted to just sh uh, share that with you guys. And, you know, I hope you guys got some uh, good, juicy information out of that. And now I can go back to, uh, oh, that was, that was something guys. <laughs> just trying to just show you guys that. So, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So that's the first phase before you hire a guru, watch my videos and I'll stumble through and I'll show you guys some other things that I know and I'll help you all I can. And then when you go to a guru, at least your guru is tightening up things that you learned on your own instead of you just sitting there like, duh, for $300 an hour. That's a lot of money. All right. <laughs> so that was, that was what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, so let me go, go through and answer some questions. Uh, let's see. Is there a lawyer you consult to make app? You know what? You would almost be like you just were staged. Yes. Uh, okay. So is there a lawyer you consult to make sure you're abided by all state and federal law to run telehealth? Absolutely. Now, there is a consortium um, that I go through and that I'm affiliated with. The, license, the states that I'm licensed in, and not only that, Check this out. My malpractice insurance, make sure I buy. So there's all kinds of things to buffer you. But I will tell you right now, as far as CMS guidelines, and I just was on their site as of April 2021, they have relaxed a lot of the things that um, initially were in place with regards to state licensure. So a lot of the telehealth medical state licenses are still in emergency use. So the, um, the restrictions are not as strong. However, with it being that I'm licensed in so many states, just to make absolutely sure I'm only seeing people in the states I'm licensed. And, and, and believe me, that's plenty. So, but yeah, that's a great question, but there's, there's all kinds of resources out there for doctors to make sure that they stay safe. Uh, what is divination? Divination is, here, let me show you. Uh, so, oh, doggone, I got to learn, I got to share the screen again. Oh, rats, rats' tails, puppy dog smells. Let me see if maybe I could do it easier this time. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, hold on a second. All right, uh, maybe, yeah. Um, yes, I think I'll be able to do it easier this time. Okay, uh, let's see. So, yeah, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't, um, all right, man, I'm getting good. Y'all better watch out. You better watch out, man. You better watch out. I'm going to mess around and eventually know what I'm doing. So I, I, I'm, in, I'm involved in a lot of affiliate programs, <laughs> needless to say. But um, so I'm an affiliate with um, Elegant Themes. So Divi Nation. So I log in. I, I normally log into my Divi account um, to get my... Uh, Hold on a second. All right. Let me go into my, I think I, but yeah, I went into my affiliate account and then I go into my um, Divi account. So I do, let's see, I gotta log in. Okay. Um, okay, my account, there it is. Okay. So when I um, go, and like I said, I'm a lifetime member. So I, I bought, I paid one time price and by paying one time price, 
anytime I could download as many, I, I get all the updates, the Divi theme, there's um, a Divi builder plugin. So like if you already got like Elementor or something like that, and if you don't want to buy the whole Divi theme, there's a plugin for Divi. And I have access to Extra, which was, the, which was this amazing news blog that I don't know why I went out of favor because it's still kind of cool. And Bloom, which is like, um, you know, um, on the side, um, the leaf, uh, um, um, newsletter, you know, leave your information, contact, the contact form. It makes the most beautiful. And I get all that anytime I want. Um, and the email, yeah. So it's the email opt-in. Then that connects to constant contact and Monarch. Like if you wanted to, if I wrote this amazing blog article that you just couldn't wait to tell the world about all the social media links you could share and it's right there. But the question was, what is Divi Nation? So these are all the different things that uh, Elegant sells on their site. But if I wanted to go hang out with my peeps in Divi Nation, I, I think it's community. Yeah, I think it's community. Yep. So it's community. So, and you guys could go. I mean, you don't have to be a member. You don't have to have Elegant themes in order to go to um, their, um, it's their, like their blog page, like their community. And so, wait, hold on a second. I'm, I'm getting backwards. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Uh, let me see. Is it, hold on, wait a minute. It's, it's like their newsletter. Um, one, one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go into my account and then I go to, uh, let me see. Hmm. All right, wait, wait. I'm going to answer your question. Wait a minute. Um, I don't think it's my downloads, but um, let's see. No, it's not my account details. Um, oh, let me see. Is it support? Okay. Uh, that's the chat. Um, basically, I'm trying to get to their newsletter. Um, but let's see. But I mean, well, here, check it out. These are all the different things that you can meet, like a lot of people from. Uh, Debbie and Elegant Themes, and also um, Envato is, um, let me see, I think it's here, Community Forum. Uh, welcome to Community, is it here? That's what I get for trying to answer the question. All right, let me see, is it, no? It, it Basically, it's like their newsletter, and once you go to their newsletter, that's where, like, um, all the information is. Hold on, what, let me see. One second. Um, is it? No, it's Debbie. Uh, demos, marketplace. I, I forgot to show you guys all the different um, free software that, um, I mean, all the different layout plans. Um, so I can't find it. But basically, um, basically, I'll, I'll find it and I'll uh, put it in the description box. I'll just put a link there. Uh, let me see. Is it resources? Yes, I think this is it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's say I wanted to click on this and I wanted to get something free. And and they just made this this week. They make free layout plans every single week. And so then this takes you into their like their newsletter. So within this newsletter, it, it has um, this information. So they just built this marina layout plan. So yeah, if you got a boat and if you need a website, just come here and get the layout plan. All you got to do is put your information in. And it has everything, your landing page, your pricing page, contact us. And then what some people do is they will take all of the different layout plans and they may take the uh, the contact page from one layout plan and the about us from another. And then you could do a global color change and your website is uniform. So if you wanted that, then you click on that prompt and then that takes you to their newsletter. So you, you have to, um, so so look at the way they have their setup, right? At the top, it says subscribe to their YouTube channel. Um, and so if, now look at this, this is beautiful. So now if you did decide that you want to get this layout plan, um, when you click, um, I think you click here, well, hold on a second. Anyway, just you guys get it, you know, let me stop struggling, please, let me stop struggling. So, um, you, you basically go in and once you get in here, 
you're in the community and you just become family. You start talking to people. Okay. Go to the water cooler and just start talking. And guess what? They'll talk back because they're so friendly. They're so friendly. It, they're very benign. So that's pretty much the divination. And like I said, they got a huge um, area on uh, social media, Facebook, um, where they answer all kinds of questions. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, sure. No problem. Uh, no problem. No, no, no. I mean, hey, you know what? Look, there was no me when I, 2017, I, real story. I really just wanted to establish, I love being a doctor, but I didn't want to like feel that burnout feeling. I always wanted to be happy at bouncing off the wall. And I did start to feel myself start to be fatigued. And I said, well, you know, I want to um, broaden my options. Uh, you know, what other areas of space can I go into? So then I decided I wanted to have an online presence. And also that was when I got hit by the car. I had nothing else to do. So I started futzing around on the, on the internet. I was being charged. One guy was charging me $1,200 a month to maintain a website that I, I never made a dime off of. Another person was asking, I, I just was like, my purse was open and gurus were just taking money out of my purse. That's why I'm so adamant about you guys not spending because I spent enough for all of us. And so I'm laying in my bed and I watched a ClickFunnels um, commercial and I clicked. I'm gullible. You know, head was made out of a sucker and body was made out of a stick. And according to Russell Brunson, all I had to do was do what he said and buy every single book he had. And in three days, I'll be in the two comma club. I think I told this story before. I still ain't in the two comma club. Right. And but that was when the spark got lit. And I got had, I got dragged through the internet for a while until I started to kind of figure stuff out. I don't want you guys to go through, let me be the sacrificial lamb. Don't get dragged. Listen to what they say. Take notes on them. If you see one that you like, write the name down. Go watch all that person's content. Because another thing they're doing out here, they got this new thing. They give some of the most valuable content that you ever want to see for free. And there's like a new thought process behind. So if you see them on, you remember before online, you used to be like, well, and I'll tell you. And then they wait to the end of the video and be like, so if you want to know the answer, Click this, nah, and like that. They come in the door, like, look, this is what you gotta do. And it's amazing. And then after you get all their free information and then you stumble a few times on your own, then spend your money. And I just wish someone had have just told me that. Um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, create a copy for your website using AI. Uh, copy is one of the most expensive things. Well, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Love you. Thank you. Exactly, guys. And so now, um, like some of those descriptions, uh, the descriptions are only supposed to be like a certain number of words, um, a certain font. Jarvis knows that. So like if you go to that, that section that says website and if you want to put your mission statement or your vision, Jarvis knows what is supposed to go in that. If you pay a guru or a contact, that's going to cost you. Th Look, the cost of Jarvis versus the cost of hiring somebody on Upworks, it ain't even nothing to talk about. And it's just like everything else. You got to work the muscle. You got to play with Jarvis. You got to learn Jarvis. I go to that every day to write something just to get used to using the software. Plus, I I'm an only child. So I like playing with other kids, right? So I like all these different things. They have these nations and these groups and these communities because they're good people. So, but you're right. Copy is expensive. Yeah, Nancy, I, I'm glad that you appreciate it. Definitely. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know, right? <laughs> I know. I did because you, your mouth is dry when you talk a lot. Thanks, Edwin. Thanks for looking out. Hi, right, Nancy. Um, oh, yeah, Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a good quick kickstart. And like I said, you know, um, I'm only just getting warmed up. And, you know, the more I learn. So let me see, Sydney. Um, why did you block me in TikTok? Uh, my account is, I don't know. Um, I, I'll go double check. Uh, let's see. I, I really don't block people who write something negative. I think that what they write is funny when they write something negative. So I don't know. Um, and sometimes I'm not the only one checking my feed. I do admit it, especially if I'm, if I'm getting behind. So if I did block y'all, unblock you. So sorry about that. But thanks for visiting over here on YouTube. 
it's just like saying, what do you think about melatonin? I agree with melatonin, but what I do feel about melatonin is, um, <laughs> oh, because that's what I said early on, Edwin, um, it is still when in the layout plans, they use lorem ipsum. And I used to didn't even understand what lorem ipsum was until I started hanging out with all the, the cool kids. And I realized it's just a space filler. Um, so it, it just makes it a little bit easier for you to format things by already having a space filler. Like when I showed you guys the blog page, it said the title was blog number one. And then it was just full of lorem ipsum. And that's the reason why I felt comfortable sharing this video with you guys. Cause I knew it said absolutely nothing. Okay. So I'll go me and Jarvis. I can have all the content filled in on that website before I go to bed tonight because of Jarvis. All right. So I'm just saying, so that's why it had uh lorem ipsum. So that's pretty much about it guys. Um, I wanted to share with you guys one of the things that I was referring to when I said, don't hire a guru right away and be creative in this space. And always remember, this is your legacy. If you were for some unknown, horrible reason to no longer be here, because we don't, I could still watch a video of Kobe right now and still get inspired, even though he's not here anymore. Um, you know, we all should write some form of a book. Um, you know, what are they going to say about you at your funeral? What's going to be written on your obituary? Why were you here? And what did you do? And that's the reason why I decided to spend less time on Clubhouse and focus on my YouTube channel. And I have a blog coming up. I mean, um, a podcast coming up and just try to leave my voice so that if I can no longer use my voice to express positivity, my voice will always be available in some realm and hopefully it will help someone. So that's my reason for being here. Every day I try to help someone, then that means that I had a quality day. So hopefully today I helped you guys um, and I'll leave a link for StreamYard. <laughs> down in the description box. But I'm going to try to get to um, Rite Aid and try to get my second inoculation of my uh, COVID vaccine. So, all right. So, uh, do anyone have any questions or, you know, and if you do, you guys know how to contact me. My email is in the description box, as is my phone number. Just give a phone call and I'll give you a call within 24 hours. I look forward to seeing you guys next Monday. If you're watching this on replay, if you enjoyed this information or if you enjoyed the channel, if you just want to hang out and be my friend, please raise your thumb. Give me a thumbs up. Click the like, click the subscribe, click the bell and come on back next Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I look forward to seeing you again on Tess MD TV. Take care.